What's up y'all? It's official. I am traveling again. I will be heading to the Cayman Islands. It is officially actually, what time is it? 6.54 in the morning. My flight is at 11. And so I got to get to the airport at a reasonable hour. Um, I'm fully packed up. The house is clean. Um, my mom is actually house sitting for me. She's going to feed my babies. There's my plant. Hold on. Can y'all see that? Plant, plant number one. Um, plant number two. Let me show you. Um, hang on. Plant number two in my room, y'all. Very cute, she's thriving. And plant number three, the money tree. She's living her best life, y'all. So mom is coming to take care of my babies and enjoy my house for a week while I'm gone. I have been preparing for this trip for quite some time. So I am packed and ready to go, y'all. Like my bag is over there, my suitcase right there y'all already know that i'm a carry-on baddie okay we don't wait for luggage in this in this building okay but anyway i am so excited i'm going to visit my girl and i can't wait i will probably touch base again when i'm at the airport like just before i take off and then i'll see you in the cayman islands And hey, Pat, we made it. We're here. And we're headed to the boat. <laughs> this is the backyard, y'all. What a vibe. Okay, it's official. We're out in Cayman Islands. I'm here with Tal and Pat and Jesse. And we're on the boat y'all this is the vibe for the day i will holla at you later so we are in stingray bay you see that dark thing over there and over there those are stingrays one of many boats here i'm excited y'all this is so cool you can see more over here as well And Jesse is over here letting us know what's happening. So that when you feed them, right? Yeah. I'm going to give you a piece of squid. Yeah. So you want to put your thumb inside and have most of the squid hanging out. Yeah. And basically what that is going to happen is they're going to come up and just suck it out of the back. Ooh. Don't leave your thumb out. Hey y'all, day two in Cayman Islands. There's Tal, Pax is at home working. We are going to the Crystal Caves, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she's driving and taking us there. It's gonna be super dope. It is hot as hell, but I'm not complaining. It is currently snowing in Toronto. So I'm not mad, but it's beautiful here, y'all. Okay, that's a car. <laughs> as soon as we start driving, I will show you the views. And until we get to the Crystal Caves, I, We'll catch y'all in a bit. These are the original um, founding like, families of the caves. No, Cayman. Oh wow! So, um, and obviously.
obviously the caves being here since the start of the island. Yeah. These are That's so the cool. Family. Wow. I'll tell you more when the camera's not recording. Oh my god. <laughs> She's over me right now. And it's fine. She knew what she was signing up for. It's a vlog. This is two beautiful ladies, Devin. <laughs> Take care of them. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Are the two of you from here? Uh, he's from Jamaica. I knew it, my people. Hi. Wow. <laughs> I'm half Cayman and half American. Okay. Okay, born in America or born here? Born in America, born, raised here. Nice. What part? New Orleans. New Orleans. Oh, nice. Epic. Born over there, raised here. Very okay, here so. I was only six weeks old, never left. Wow. Okay, y'all, we're officially on our tour. And we're going into the caves. He's letting us know the history. Agave plant. That is your national plant of the island. That is called a silver thatch cross. So anything that we created from that, guys, whether it's hats, baskets, carrying baskets, shoes, belts, ropes, Roots for your house, beds to sleep in, guys. All created from that plant, guys. Cool. And we also traded it to other Caribbean countries for sugar, corn, and rice. Guys. You will learn how to become Usain Bolt today. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our first cave. And here, guys, we have two rules: no running in the cave and no touching of anything inside of the cave. Outside of that, here we go. Down. Welcome to Open Sea and Joy, guys. AKA Sauna. It's very hot. It's hot? It is. Oh, it is. Hot, yeah. I'm scared. No, you no right. reason to be scared, guys. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in the cave that's going to do you anything. Other than your shadow probably scaring the crap. This is so cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Inside of Open Sea and Cave, guys. The reason why we call it Open Sea, yeah. that big hole up there, that was your main entrance in and out of the cave back in the day before the stairs got put inside of here. Wow. On the park itself, the park is estimated to be about 10 to 15 million years old. Wow. And your caves are between 2 to 4 million years old, guys. The greenish rocks right in front of you, those are your limestones. So, this is your smallest cave on the property. It is your hottest cave here, guys. It is the one that doesn't have any lights inside of it, and it's the one that has the most caves inside of it, guys. So in here, this cave has seven different caves inside of here, guys. You have one directly behind the stairs off to the right, which is your gas station cave. It will take you off to the gas station, but it will take you about three hours just to pass through. Wow. Then, down behind you guys, under that ridge, you have three caves back there. At this time of the day, those three caves inside there will harbor a lot of mosquitoes. You can go in, but you can only stay about two minutes. Any longer than that, once you come out of there past that time, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, kids, you guys will look like a spotted leopard inside. Oh boy. <laughs> Give you guys a heads up. <laughs> so, to get you guys to help me out just a little bit. So, coming up from the ground are called what? They hear me. So, go ahead, play Indiana Jones a little bit, guys. Go ahead and explore. The root system that you see hanging down in the cave, guys, this is one of two kinds of trees that can grow inside of the area. You have your wild fig trees and you have your strangler blossoms. They are the two strongest trees in the area that they can crack rock just to get inside of the cave. You don't worry about too much bats inside of here, guys. Those three that I showed you up there are the only ones inside of the cave. Down there? Well, I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, you will get to see a lot more of them because you have a bad idea of being So cool. So if you guys want to be a little adventurous, you can go into your two entrance gate, but you can also cut across to the right side of it. Which is on this side. Once you get in there, you want, 
You'll go in, you oh, get on that side, and look to your left. There's going to be a ridge. About that tree, guys. If you ended up swallowing that leaf, it also acts as a good laxative as well. <gasps> Not in the caves. <laughs> Not in the caves. He beat me in the back. Oh my god. Yes, yes. No. As I said before, guys, you'll find these guys sitting in front of the cave. Oh. The red birch trees are on top of the cave. You can also say hello to Bob. Hello, Bob. Bob is your fifth largest wild fig tree on the entire property. Wow. Wrapped around him going to the top of the tree is one of the strangler blossoms as well. Mm. But Bob is also married as well, guys. One of his roots travels all the way inside of the cave underground, connecting him and his wife together. She mm -hmm. stays inside of the cave. She's Pretty smart. much a long distance <laughs> relationship, guys. He's possible. And I do apologize from now, ladies and gentlemen, you will see weird formations everywhere. And what I mean by weird formations, <laughs> so I do apologize for what you will see in here. It's, it's so, natural. We have no control on what crates inside of the cave, so if you gotta take an argument up, guys, take it up with the cave, not your tour guide. Yeah. <laughs> this is so Good morning, cool. ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Roots Cave, guys. Wow. Look at this. This is so funky yeah. looking. Okay, right in front of you, ladies and gentlemen. Say hello to Bob's wife. Hey, girl. That's <laughs> She's pretty. She's Very pretty or whatever. While fig tree on this entire property guys. And these are the large root system that you have inside of your cave. But it is not the end of these roots, guys. These roots go four building stories down away from where we are standing. And she's inside. It goes into well, two different directions. Left and let's go this okay. way. Yes. We're in cave number two, y'all. And Talia is showing me around. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of these rock formations are wild. Can we just, like, what is that? It looks familiar. <laughs> oh my god. Very cool. Apparently, the third cave is the scariest one. We have a lot of bats. It's a bat cave. It's a bat cave. I gotta get rid of this because apparently they don't like the sound of the plastic. Um, luckily, it's done, so I will throw it away before we get there. In the meantime, we're just gonna enjoy. Not metal, guys, that is solid stone. That is actually called a drop stone. It's the third smallest one that we have here. The other two are down to where the end of Bertha's roots are. Those ones are five times bigger than this one. But we also have a giant size one as well, guys. Your giant one is about 11 times bigger than the exit. Wow. And if we were to hit that one while you guys are here in the park, and with everyone that is inside of this park right now, guys. You can hear that for over 200 acres of the park itself. Wow. And if you're in certain caves, you will hear a very loud vibration coming off of it as well. So at this point, guys, you're allowed to touch that. So cool. Go ahead, and give it a break, guys. Oh. I'm too short. <laughs> you really want to know? Yeah. So I was in here digging, and I was down to cool. so how we created the entrance from Mud Cave. We have to move furniture. And what I mean by furniture. Mm -hmm. Oh, these. Furniture one. That was in there? Wow. How did you move it? Furniture two. Oh, wow. And both of these was connected to this wall right here. So we yeah, had to jackhammer it. these guys off. Mm -hmm. And we had to get a crane to come in here to move them. But it took the crane six hours just to get from the top of the road all the way back here because of the sheer size of the machine. And as you saw when you were riding back here, guys, our roads are not straight either. Mm -hmm. So once they got back here and we got these moved, then we created our main entrance from Mud Cave. I would take you guys inside of there, but one of our supervisors is out here. Okay, y'all. Third down, and final cave. We actually work at our knees throughout the entire cave. We couldn't do that to you guys, so we dug <laughs> downwards inside of here. But if you actually look around the entire room, you're going to notice that there's a faint line 
going right around the entire room. That line actually represents the original flooring that was inside of here, guys. And if you watch me, watch my finger go all the way around, guys, it goes in the same line with the flooring back there. Wow. That was your original entrance to get inside of here, guys. But how we gain entrance to get into the cave itself, you'd crawl from over here, then you'll crawl across our object right up here that looks like a UFO. <laughs> then we would pass our sign, guys. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we would literally have to squeeze behind here. 2009, digging up the area. Oh. We didn't open up to the general public until 2015. Oh. So, oh, where's my manners? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> say hello to Charles. <laughs> <laughs> Charles is in rock hand formation, guys. He was found inside of here by myself. But let me not lie to you guys. I didn't find him inside of here, guys. He found me inside of here. <laughs> I was in here digging and I actually caused a little bit too much vibrations with the jackhammer. He ended up cutting loose from the roof and he caught me on the side of my shoulder. <gasps> he had me out of work two weeks. Wow. And he weighs 35 pounds, guys. Whoa. Mm -hmm. But in this section here, guys, inside of this cave, your floor level was actually a lot higher. Okay, so this wasn't the scary cave. Apparently, we got that one. We can actually look at the roof here. Oh, this is cool. Very cool. I know. So, now I'm thinking now, the other one is probably where I can get rid of this. <laughs> okay, I think we're in the back. Another unique situation. formation, guys. Your dinosaur. That was the one. Cool. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Yep. And your other one is right in front of us. That is our octopus head, guys. Cool. Oh, wow. Let's go back. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main chamber. For Lake Cave, guys. Wow. If you guys want to see some of the bats, right there. Mm-mm. Look at them. Those ones up there are all your adult fruit bats. Those ones you don't have to worry about. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's more up there. Uh, three of them right there. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, over here. That's the reason why we call this Lake Cave, guys. Wow. There's your lake. Uh, the lights are We've been trying to get that so I love you can't get them all to turn off. They keep turning off in different sections. Oh, man. So that, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to go all the way down there, you can go right to the edge. The lights aren't working. Just know that you guys know what. Let me go through the lights and then you guys let me know. Do you want to jump in and drink the water after you found exactly what's inside of that? No, yeah, thank you. Right? So that, guys, that goes back 410 feet. That's wild. That is all water, y'all. And, no and it doesn't look like water, but it's like it's reflecting. Out. That's crazy. Well, this first light, ladies and gentlemen, will show you guys the reflection of the water. Wow. Wow. Oh, you're the control of it. That's all the reflection, guys. So cool. And then now, okay, you're going to try to decide water. what's inside that. So all of that white stuff that you see floating on top of the water and sitting on the bottom of the water, <laughs> what do you guys think that is? Sand. Say it louder, don't feel bad, guys. Sand? Nope, not sand. Algae? Nope, not algae. Cal calcium? Nope. Bats? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> right. Oh. What? Oh. Yes, he's right. <laughs> it's bat dookie. All that stuff that you see inside of the dress, that's one bat dropping. So, now that you know exactly one, what you feel when you stand up right there. In the light. What does it do? It's weird. Oh, actually, you can feel it coming in. It's weird. Because right AC. where you are standing, guys, we are pumping a lot of air inside of here. Oh, oh okay. Also, right where you are standing, that was your air. All right, y'all, it's official day 
three, actually, maybe day four, in Cayman Islands. I am at the beach. Y'all got to see a few things. Um, I got dropped off here, so I'm just gonna be reading, relaxing, heading in the water, and I am so excited. This trip was so needed, and I'm just here to relax. We're not doing anything wild. We did a lot of sightseeing day one and two, so the rest of the trip is really just me relaxing and zenning out, y'all. Anyway, I'll catch y'all in a bit. So y'all, this is Seven Mile Beach. It is probably the longest stretch on the island, and it's beautiful. All the hotels are along here. You can see a cruise ship all the way down there. Um, but this is basically where all tourists and everybody come to kind of hang out by the beach. And I am just walking this trip until I find a spot. But it's stunning. The water is so blue. And I cannot get enough. Also, like I said, I've been on the beach and these guys have taken over the area. Well, this one in particular, he's ruthless. There's someone's like stuff over there and he's been like walking through it. Disrespectful little bird. And there's one who's crowing somewhere, screaming away. But it's beautiful y'all, white sand. I'm in the shade, so this is why you see all the, you know, shavings and stuff over here. But um, I'm taking a break from the sun because it's real hot. Um, but I was laying out over there. There's no um, like tree stuff and leaves out closer to the water. It's actually perfect white sand. But yeah, I'm just here enjoying. It is so needed just to sit and do nothing and read. Um, currently reading this book and it is very, very inspiring, highly recommended. And yeah, this is the vibe y'all. Hey y'all, back again. So I've been in and out of the water and I've gotten a crazy tan. Um, basically I'm walking along Seven Mile Beach. That's like the famous stretch of beach here in Cayman Islands. I'm right by the governor's, I think it is the governor's house. Um, and yeah, the whole stretch has a bunch of hotels and residences and stuff. And the sand is perfect. The water is perfect in blue. And yeah, it's a vibe. I'm loving this. It's so needed. Toronto is cold and snowing. We are in the middle of March, so that's to be expected. Um, but yeah, I needed a break from the chaos. Chaos. <clears throat> so here we are. All right, guys, day five. We are heading to Tilly's restaurant on the beach. There's Pax and Talia. And it's beautiful in here. I cannot wait to eat, y'all. So pretty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. No, same for them. We don't have Hey, y'all. So, we're back at the beach. We're actually having dinner. Um, and the sunset is so beautiful. Can you see that? And the moon is out at the same time. I'm gonna show y'all. It's actually stunning here and the weather is perfect. Not too hot and not too cold. Look at how beautiful that is, y'all. And then, there goes the moon. Stunning. So our restaurant is part of this hotel. Beautiful.
Hey y'all, this is the final full day I have here in the Cayman Islands and we're gonna head out, do some shopping, come back and have dinner and just chill. This trip has been so relaxing and I'm so grateful to be here. Um, I'm just outside of the house here. I dressed up a little for the day, for the day. and um, yeah, we're just gonna chill and have a good time and, and relax until tomorrow when I fly out and head back to Canada in the snow. Apparently the snow has been wild. Um, oh my god, it's really windy today, but still very warm. But anyway, um, the snow has been wild in Toronto. There were like crazy um, weather warnings, 15 to 20 centimeters of snow, and I'm here, so I'm coming back to chaos, but it's all good. Anyway, y'all, I will hit you up later. Um, the vlog has been on and off, I'll be really honest. Um, I've been trying to film, but this trip has mostly been for me to relax, so it is what it is. I will catch y'all in a bit. We made it downtown, y'all, to Bayshore Mall. There are all these super cute stores, high-end stores over there. There's PAX. <laughs> and we just wanted to check out the harbor here. The water is so blue and so beautiful. Look at that, you can literally see the different shades of blue as you as you keep going. Wowza. 